What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are getting through these training guys. They're short, they're sweet and hopefully they'll help you guys out because just cutting through a load of the fluff and the faff. This guy, Hernandez lads, my god what a player this guy is. Genuinely, if you are able to invest a bit of time and training points and a couple of player skills as additional skills into this guy, holy moly lads, this guy is unbelievable, right? First off, we're going to start by saying that he has got off the rip before he goes any of his 25 levels. Yes, he's down as an extra frontman, right? Forget about that for the time being. He has got as a center back off the rip, 75 heading, 84 jumping, 80 tackling, 84 aggression and 74 acceleration. On top of that, we've got heading as a player skill. We've got man marking, interception, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit. Seven key stats for a center back that will just take him to the next level. Now, if we are able to throw a blocker on him, if we are also able to throw, I would say, yeah, blocker is going to be a huge one on him. I think that's probably the key one. Um, but the rest of his stats are fine even without blocker, lads. I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, every single player in the game with the way the game plays at the moment kind of has blocker. So let's not beat around the bush here, right? But this guy, Hernandez, is an absolute insane beast of a monster, right? Um... I just think that he's he's kind of like a mix between everything good about what works in the game at the moment. I'm going to show you the best build for him. He doesn't really have a weakness, but we're going to talk about one or two little bits and pieces in his card, right? So when you max out his defending at 15, and you pop four into dexterity, four into area strength, and two into goalkeeper one, you are going to have a player that looks like this, right? 88 defensive awareness. When we do get the player form arrow, that's going to go up to 90. Tackling is going to go to 97. And defensive engagement is going to go to 96. We've maxed out his aggression at 99. And we also have maxed out his jump at 90, which is insane. Uh, with 79 header and the heading player skill, area of superiority and acrobatic clearance. Nothing's getting past him in the air. He does have a good jump, physical contact and stamina with speed and acceleration. That's going to get a boost to 80 as well. So really, there's only been a handful of players that have been released that kind of match up to him. And I would say that those are Cardoba, the epic Cardoba, and I would also say uh, epic Tommy Yasu, right? Other other center backs that you have, um, like let's say for example, if you've got somebody like Maldini um, and you train up his you know best version of Maldini or whatever way you want to do it, yes, defensively, you can get him extremely similar, um, but the aggression is always an issue with the likes of Maldini and some of those cards. Um, and if that's not an issue, it's going to be the heading and the jumping. So to get that mixture of speed, um, you know, everything that's going for this card is going to be, how would you say it? Like everything is going to be right on cue with the big time cards, right? You can see Maldini there. Yes, defensively, he's got 95, 95, 90 and 99. But the jump is in only 88 and the header is 79. Whereas this guy's got 79, 90 and 80 physical contact, right? While also having very similar defensive stats because defensive awareness is kind of a, kind of a null and void one at the moment right I wouldn't train him as a right back or a left back or anything like that I would definitely be training him as a center back first and foremost now as always lads if you are looking for a GP alternative you can't go wrong with Tommy Yasu standard Tommy Yasu if you've missed out on any of these other versions of him uh, standard Tommy Yasu is insane he goes to a 95 overall with this build if you want to copy it 91 in defensive awareness 95 tackling 92 aggression and 91 defensive engagement with 74 speed 75 acceleration 88 jump and 74 heading you put blocker on him you put man marking on him he's going to be a beast and acrobatic clearance if you can everything else is superb and he is quite tall as well so yeah this guy hernandez lads is definitely the pick of the bunch stats don't always tell the full story but it's the aggression if you can't play with this guy um then maybe a real aggressive player might not suit you but even at that he can play a bit of a bit of ball as well if you wanted to tone down the defense you could do that and have the aggression at like 95 the rest of his stats are going to completely you know be still super 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 dominant and you could just turn him into a bit of a kind of a, a, a you know a really good um fast aggressive center back that chases everything that's not going to blow out with stamina blow out with speed um so they're the two builds that i would say and you could also you know always um improve his jump and improve his aerial strength if you wanted to have that a little bit higher as well but i still think that first build is better so let me know what you guys think and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying these peace